Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. So, um, sorry about my voice, got a little cold. I actually did a, a short video on this program and told you guys that you require basically your your proof of English proficiency and your West Evaluation Report done before you can even start anything about this process. So, um this program was designed for like rural communities in some provinces like some provinces in ontario saskatchewan manitoba there's a participating community in alberta um i think there's one in bc too Ver is it vermon so yeah so there's there's about um 11 participating communities in this program and it was designed to kind of fill in the shortage of labor that this communities are experiencing so um to to be eligible for this program you need to find a job in the participating communities and these jobs are actually posted on their official website if you can go to canada.ca and search for the rural and northern immigration pilot program they have um all the all the all the participating communities are listed there and you can click on those links to find out their immediate requirements but basically all of them have the same kind of requirements they all need the west evaluation like i said and the uh, um proof of english proficiency but then you know all of them are going to ask you if you've already applied for like a community recommendation and most times the case is no if you haven't applied they will tell you every single thing you need to have before you can apply so you need to have like a qualifying work experience or have graduated from a publicly funded post-secondary institution that's like university or at least a diploma you know either you've gone to college university obtained a diploma a set or a bachelor's before you can apply and um meet all of those educational requirements and have at least a one year of work experience with a minimum of um 15 60 hours in the past three years that's um 8560 hours for you to participate in this program so you have to count like all your hours it, it, it doesn't necessarily mean like it has to be full-time it can be full-time it can be part-time if you can put all the hours you've had in the last three years together you can qualify for this program like if all the hours you've had in the last three years you can put them together and you have up to 1560 that's 1560 then you can qualify that's one but then like i always say um i know the competition is really high and i'm not gonna lie to you like on this channel and tell you that oh just apply you get it no the competition for this program like it's high because so many people don't want to come here and pay and spend money to pay school fees so all those people who don't want to come and school in canada they are channeling their energy to these programs that don't require coming here to pay tuition that's why the competition is high so your work experience has to be i read on i think it was um on the moose job website i read where they stated clearly that your work experience must must be in the same field you're applying to and how many of those work experiences are available like so if you look at the jobs that are posted on the, like the most job website right now you see accounts payable clerk accounts this this that this that so at the end of the day they don't have so many positions open for most job like i have seen i've seen for sunbury ontario they don't have so many like opportunities and you can't manufacture some of these like it's not these are not professionals that you just manufacture the experience because at the end of the day it's going to shoot you on your foot if you understand what i mean so if it was something like cleaning like you know um hairdressing like let's say any other kind of um craft or skill that you can acquire outside like you know hairdressing nail technician and all of that you know you can say oh i know how to do this thing but you know something like accountant you know um finance director financial managers those kind of opportunities you have to have a backing like you have to have a work experience that can back up those claims if you understand what i mean this is why i honestly tell people that 
the best way to come in here and get a permanent residence is through study. There are so many opportunities that as a student you qualify for even sometimes before you graduate you might just qualify for a program you just never know sometimes opportunities just come up for people who have had some kind of canadian experience like canadian education canadian work experience because there's no way you come in here to school and then you're not working you come into school you get a work permit right so you can work this means that if an opportunity should come up in any other area aside study like if there should be an opportunity for you to apply for a permanent residence with qualifying work experience, let's say six months, one year, and you you have like a four year program, but you've already had like one year work experience. You qualify for that um, permanent residence option, you apply for it. So you might as well get your permanent residence before you even graduate. You just never know, right? But like if you're out there, like outside Canada, and you're hoping that you want to get a job um, and um, get your permanent residence. It, I mean, some people are getting it. I'm not going to dispute the fact that it's working, but then it's minimal. So I would advise, I would encourage you to like channel your energy more to come in here to study and then try to get a PR. But then if you're interested in this um, Rural Northern Immigration Pilot Program, um, I mean, you need to have like education, educational, you need to have like educational experience, like I said. And then if you're working in healthcare as a registered nurse or a registered psychiatric nurse, then you have like a separate option. Just go to Canada.c and search for this program. You see every single detail you need to know about it. And there's also an exemption, like I said, for international students, especially if you have a master's degree then like the english requirement like i said it's not high most of them have a cutoff of about 4.5 um 5.0 6.0 maximum in this um round of them program so like i said again being in canada gives you an advantage there's a statement that says unless you're already working legally in canada when you apply you must prove that you have enough money to support yourself and any family members while you get settled in your community this means you must prove you have enough money to support any family members you may have even if they are not coming to canada with you it's stated here categorically so how many people who are looking to come and work here even have enough settlement funds so you see unless you fall into the category of people who have sufficient settlement funds um you know good english scores um of course your bachelor's degree or master's degree and you must intend to live in that community you don't just come in and say oh i'm getting out one well, you already got a job to go into the community so why do you want to leave the community right so you must intend you must show clear intent of wanting to settle in that community so this is the much i can say like at the moment i'm not actually discouraging you from um, trying this program but I, like I said like I said again it's not easy like it's not an easy fix it's not easy peasy it's not something you just walk in and grab okay you need to show that you have proof of funds you need to show clear intent like they stated clearly even for your family members who are not coming with you you need to prove that you can take care of them while they're home that's before coming so go to canada.ca, search for the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program, and give it a shot.